guys, Charizard694 here and welcome back to Buana's Adventure in the Journey Down Chapter 2. We finished off with talking to Mo and Vince about, um, what was it? About corn. They want to trade corn to Buana in exchange for a bottle of eorins and some cigars. I do remember where the cigars were or are, but um, before we head back, let's go check on Morton and see if he has any more information he can give us. Hey, Morton! Especially about Leroy. Hey, hello there, Buana. Ever heard of someone named Kaunan Dodo? Kaunan Dodo? Haven't heard that name in a long, long time. A pilot, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's him! Last I saw him, he was working for Barlow. Those two were up to some really shady business, I'll tell you. Count and Dodo work for Barlow? That can't be right. Quite so. And I'll tell you what else. The two of them led an expedition down to the Underland. The Underland? Oh, yes. Few people remember this nowadays. But back then, there were no laws stopping adventurers from trying their luck down there. The expedition was one of the few ventures ever to make it back. Tell me about the expedition. I can't tell you that much, son. The whole thing was done in secret, you see. But I've worked the lighthouse for over 40 years now. And no vessel comes or leaves port unnoticed by me. I remember seeing them take off in a twin-engine propeller plane. One of those pontoon planes that can land on water, you, you know. That must be Count Andoro's plane! Well, it was a real beauty, wherever it was from. But when it returned from the Underland a few weeks later, one could tell it had been through some real rough travails. Poor thing barely made it back. Did they bring anything back from the Underland? Rumors said it was loaded with a ton of gold and diamonds when it came back. I wouldn't make much of those rumors, though. Sadly, we'll never know for sure what secrets they uncovered in the Underland. Why not? Soon after the expedition returned to Port Artu, Barlow became the chief of police. And on the same day, the official report about the expedition was made classified. What report? The police suspected the expedition was involved in some kind of dirty business. But the final police report was never revealed to the public. And I'm afraid the secrets were buried together with that police report. Buried or not, I'm going to find out the truth about that expedition. Well, good luck, son. Won't be easy getting your hands on that police report. Have you heard of a man named Leroy McKigbo? Oh, Leroy. He was a policeman way back many years ago here in Port Artu. He used to come up here and we'd play shuffle crips all night long into the wee hours. I sure miss the old goat. What happened to him? I wish I knew. So you don't know how I can find him? Afraid not, son. Dang, it looks like our lead for Leroy is coming to an end. Hmm. Okay, see you later. All right, you take care now. What did he call it? Shuffle Crips? <laughs> or something? Oh my goodness, the, the slang and the talk they use for the conversation is really cool. Um, just trying to think, who else can we talk to? Oh look! The guy's at the taxi now. Hey, can you believe this? I do this job job for chum change day after day, and Hustler Mac sell me a bus tie. Good for nothing but a trip around the block. When he laid his racket, it sure sound clean, but now I know who's the fool. He played me cut rate, and that ain't cool. I'm a old Hustler Mac, a slap in the face for that chum deal. Uh. <laughs> Name's Rod Reynolds. That's R for real. Oh, so your taxi's broken? Yeah, I know you want to roll with Rod Reynolds. That's R for rhythm. I got the smoothest jam in town. Like silk on wheels, I bring my customers to their destination every time. But now, however, there is a slight predicament. 
My front tire's gone bust, and that sucker hustler Max got his jive shop closed this hour. I don't quite know what to do. Put me in a bit of a pickle. If I had me a new tire, I'd take you wherever you want to go. But right now, it looks like I'm stuck for the night. I thought R was for real. R is for real. R is for rhythm. And R is for ride. Remember that. Rod Reynolds, that's my name. Driving a cab, that's my game. <laughs> this guy is something else. What's art on the streets, Reynolds? Streets are cooking tonight, Jack. Something big going on in the city. I can feel it in a fine-tuned, extra-calibrated tingle of my fingers. This is a fine night to score a ride with Rod Reynolds, indeed. That's a classy suit. I hear purple is a new thing. This ain't no common purple, Jack. This here is royal purple and no less. When you ride in with Reynolds, you ride in with royalty. Can you dig it? Can I practice my pickaxe swing <laughs> on your car, please? How is this yeah, an option? Yeah, you do that, Jack, and I practice my kung fu on you. Do you know anything about expeditions to the Underland? Ha! The Underland? I thought all suckers knew that's just a bunch of fairy dust. I keep it real, you know? Real on the streets. Can you dig it? Do you know someone named Makigbo? Ha! That's a funny name if I ever heard one. Sorry, Jack. Never heard it before. I'll see you around. Stay on top, Jack. In Port Archie, you gotta be street smart and steal hard. Remember that. Mm, I just love all the talk and the conversation. It's so cool. Just the jive and the smack and the... Um, oh, there's no arrow there, so it looks like we can't go back in there. But let's click on it anyway and see what he I says. I ain't going near that meat stick again. He'll throw me right back in the dumpster. The meat stick. <laughs> okay. So, it looks like we need to... What do we need to do? I don't even know what we need to do. Let's go have a look. Um, see if we, um, I guess we'll go to Arnie's or the mayor. Actually, let me see if we can get some cigars first. Oh, there's a car here. Oh, that's right, the telephone booth. That's right, that had numbers in it. Okay, okay, there's so many things I want to do. Let's go see if we can get a cigar from Andy first. Can I have a couple cigars? I'm really not allowed to give away the mayor's cigars. But I guess he won't notice if there is a few missing. Go ahead. Thanks, Andy. Some, awesome. Okay. Let's... What do we do with... There's, there's a wheel on this car. Oh, if only I could get my hands on one of those tires. The car's for them. What they need that many for? <laughs> I could probably pry one of the wheels loose, but I need to lift a car somehow. Oh, that's why we need the fire extinguisher. All right, let's chuck this under here. Because I have an idea. Look at that. Look at that animation. And fire extinguisher. Whoa, rubber boot engineering rules. <laughs> How do I take it off, though? Do I just pick it off? If you could afford buying a car with fancy wheels like these, then you can afford losing one. How does he fit a whole tire in his pocket? I'm not gonna question it. Okay, let's see if we can find uh, a Mikibo Leroy's number in here and see if we can call it maybe. Otherwise, I guess that's all I can find out unless I talk to Arnie. Will Arnie know? Was Arnie even there? Hold on. Let's go see. This guy won't know anything. They're sailors. They're in and out of here all the time. Let's see if Arnie might know something. Yo! What can I help you with, sir? Have you heard of a man named Leroy McKigbo? Sure. He was the old police chief here in Port Archu before Barlow hit the scene. I have no idea what happened to him. One day he was replaced out of the blue and... I haven't seen them around since. Leroy McKigbo was a decent, good, and honest man. Bit of a loony type, but his heart was in the right place. He sure loved the citizens of his city, from the top brass to the low-life scum on the streets. So much, in fact, that he spent more time with the little folks down here in our bar than he did with the political riffraff up in Timber, 
which probably bothered them quite a lot, come to think of it. He was the kind of police that felt he had to give you a hug and say he was sorry after he locked you in a cell. Maybe not the most effective chief of police ever, but certainly a nice enough fella. Makikbo was pretty different from Barlow, eh? Yes, sir. They're opposites in every single way. Any idea where I can get a hold of him? Well, he's got to be in some kind of registry somewhere, sir. You guys name? Aha, uh -huh. so we do have to use the telephone. Let's see if Arnie knows anything about the expedition. You ever heard about an expedition to the Underland? <laughs> have I? Back in the day when diving down into the mist was legal, we had people excitedly going on about it all the time. Once people got to drinking, there was always some fool who suggested they go for it. Drop the hard life here in Port Archu and search for treasure in the Underland. Ha! There ain't nothing but fool's gold, that. And those poor fellas that took off? Well, we ain't never heard of or seen them again. It's a dead end, sir. It's a good thing the government finally decided to ban the whole mess altogether. People were disappearing by the bucket load. It was damaging my business, it was. No one ever made it back? Well, I remember hearing about a couple of fellows who returned and claimed they had been there. But ain't it convenient? They failed to bring back a single shred of evidence to prove it. You'd have to be pretty crazy to believe them then, eh? Any idea where I can get more information about the expedition? Sir, you're gonna have to ask around, because it was a long time ago. You'd have to ask someone who stuck around for a long time. Okay, let's see. Oh, but I don't have five dollars. Maybe we could do like a trade with the empty bottle? I want eel rinse. Sure thing. It's five bucks a bottle. Man, I don't have any cash. Yeah. Mm, okay. I give him a... Uh, let's see if I give him the bottle. I don't think he wants that. Oh, okay. Um, ooh, can we get... Can we lunge this drain? This is just a thought. rude boy plumbing at your service. Rude boy plumbing. <gasps> Look. We block the drain, and I'm assuming the drain gets... Yes! I was thinking about this whole time he was having the conversation Gross, with Arnie. Man. So, is this good enough? The bottle is half full of waste from the bar. I got to find more liquor so I can fill it up to the brim. Oh, okay. So, you deal, so you got a half full. That's good. That's a start. Um, let's go. Where did I say I wanted to go? Oh, to the phone booth. See if we can call... Leroy. Let's have a look, shall we? Is it... What's it go? McIgbo? McIgbo? McIgbo Missers? Mm, I guess maybe it just shows one person's name. Alright, so 510-842. Hello, madam. My name is Buana. I'm trying to reach uh, Leroy McKigbo. Is this the right number? Yes. Sweet! I'm calling about a police report he wrote a long time ago. It's about the Underland. A police report? Yeah, lady. Uh, can I talk to him, please? Uh, talk to him? If you want to talk to him, you should rather call a psychic. My dear Leroy disappeared over ten years ago. So did my father, Count Andoro. I believe there's some sort of connection between your husband and my father. Do you know if anyone wanted to see Leroy disappear? Leroy used to be the police chief here in Port Archu, and he had many enemies. He was a diligent, an honest man, always working late down at the station to keep the gangsters at bay. But then one night, he didn't return home from work. <laughs> Did Leroy ever talk about an expedition to the Underland? Well, now that you mention it, he did say he was writing a report about some sort of expedition just before he disappeared. I don't know what it was about, but I remember he said he had uncovered some sort of conspiracy. You think he might have left a copy of the report at home? Oh, I don't know, dear. I never looked through his work things. 
The police and the power company cleared out his study soon after Leroy disappeared. The power company? Yes, there was some gentleman here from the Armando Power Company to help with the investigation. Whatever they found, they must have taken with them to their office on Chanel Road. Hold on a minute. The power company has an office here in Port Achu? Oh, I don't know, dear. The office is probably closed now that most business has moved up to St. Armando. This all happened a long time ago. I doubt I can be of much help to you now. Oh no, you've been very helpful, Miss McKigbo. Thank you so much. Oh, not at all, dear. Good night. So the power company has an office right here in Port Achu. I bet that's where they hid the missing police report. I've got to get to Chanel Road. Okay, so it looks like we found some juicy information of where the police report could be on Channel Road and I don't think on that map when Andy and Buana were looking at it I don't think she said anything about Channel Road or something but um yes anyway guys I'm going to leave that let's play right here for today as I believe some maybe some juicy stuff might be coming up next I don't know maybe we'll uncover something something secret and lucrative and special but um, yes guys, smash that like button if you're enjoying this series so far and want to see more, um, not just this one, but many other indie point and click adventures as I'd love to showcase them. Um, and subscribe if you're new and don't forget to ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on more um, gaming content being uploaded by yours truly. And as always guys, I thank you for watching and remember to keep on gaming. Bye for now!